Today I'm going to make pancakes, for no better reason than I have a lot of milk that needs using up. There was a time in the UK when pancakes were only cooked on Shrove Tuesday, that's 47 days before Easter Sunday. Now people cook them at any time of year. Until a few years ago we only had hot cross buns at Easter and mince pies at Christmas. Now they are in the shops almost all year round. Americans seem to eat pancakes for breakfast. I don't know how they find the time before going to work. But we in the UK usually have them after dinner for dessert. Anyway, this is what you need. For 10 to 12 pancakes, 8 ounces, 225 grams of plain flour, add a pinch of salt. Two large eggs, one pint five hundred milliliters of milk, butter for frying, toppings of your choice. This might be castor or granulated sugar and lemon juice, syrup, jam, fruit, or whatever you prefer. Sift the flour and salt into a mixing bowl. Make a well in the middle of the flour. Break the eggs into the well. Pour in half of the milk and whisk briskly. Add the remaining milk and whisk until the batter is smooth. Leave for 30 minutes. You can cook them immediately if you don't have time to wait. You are going to add two or three tablespoons of batter to the frying pan at a time. So you need to know what that looks like in relation to the ladle you are going to use. My spoon is the equivalent of three tablespoons. Don't try adding the batter to the pan one tablespoon at a time. Heat a medium sized pan over a medium heat. Add a small knob of butter to coat the pan. Once the pan is hot, spoon two or three tablespoons of the batter into the pan. Tilt the pan from side to side so the batter spreads out evenly. Make the first pancake a test run to check the right amount of batter is being used and the pan is hot enough. Very often the first pancake is discarded as not being quite right. As the batter sets, shake the pan to see if the pancake is loose. Cook the pancakes on each side until golden. It takes about a minute a side. Flip it over and cook the other side until golden. You might have to flip more than once. If you are not confident in flipping, use a pan slice or spatula to turn it over. Slide onto a warm plate and keep warm in a low oven. Cook the rest of the pancakes one at a time but remember to melt a small knob of butter before adding the batter.